Greetings, Israel, Judah, Brother DFG. Hey, guys, um, I want to take a moment and um, just a follow-up uh, video on a video that uh, I shared about three weeks ago. You're going to remember this when I bring up why I'm here today, um, briefly. But if you guys recall, uh, when I spoke about, you know, the heathens and, and them uh, having a long uh, memory when it comes down to retaliation, and I'm talking about the Montgomery Brawl. And if you recall, uh, one of the things that I, I mentioned to my brothers and sisters, and I think this is important, I had to really spend a little moment and reflect on whether or not it was even worthy enough to, to take up any of your time. But through uh, consolation and meditation, I think it is. Uh, but I mentioned that although we were doing the right thing, and, and I am full support of uh, defending and helping each other uh, all the time not just when a heathen is attacking us we should be defending each other all of the time but of course th you know that's a whole lot of more conversation around how can something like that happen all right so but subject being what the subject is and that is I mentioned that you know it was one thing for us to go out and help and, and, and protect one another when we're under attack you know by the enemies but it's something totally different brothers and sisters around understanding there's going to be uh, retaliation and I said then and I say it again now these you know Satan has a long memory alright the demons the fallen have a long memory they don't forget anything and like I said back you know, three weeks ago and I'll say it again and I'm talking in reference to what happened yesterday in Jacksonville so let me make sure you understand where I'm going with this I'm talking about the vicious heathen devil who went into a Dollar General store in Jackson I'm sorry Jacksonville Florida yesterday and he killed two Israelites or three Israelites I can make that assumption so-called blacks two men and a woman a woman he killed them, all three of them and then he killed himself Exactly three weeks to the day of the Montgomery Brawl. And as I said then, one thing about them heathens, you know, they have long memories and they don't know about taking no L's. They ain't not about taking loss. Especially when it comes down to taking a loss by us. Because the way they look at it, they got their white pride to protect. protect. They got, they, they've got their white image, their white supremacy, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to protect. They have to save face for the world. And what I shared then and I share now, what they were going to do is they were going to let us just finish, make, you know, mocking them, you know, making our little memes with chairs and all of this kind of carrying on. And then when everything got quiet again and we thought they had forgotten, then they're going to come back and they're going to come back with a vengeance. So while we were swinging chairs and making fun of you know, the chair swingers. What do you think they're thinking today? Three weeks later. What do you think those biggest, the hateful ones amongst them? What do you think they're thinking about today? Well, let me tell you. They're celebrating. Because the way they see it. The way they think it. They reverse the suffering. And now, instead of our people standing around, you know, making memes with chairs, now they're having prayer rings, church services. I can't believe, you know, this and I can't believe that. And be frankly, brothers and sisters, that pisses me off with Israel. Because we seem to never understand, you know, for every action there's a reaction. We think everything is a game. You know, we, we think a win is, is just because we, we got, we, we won, you know, the ball game. We never realized that, hey, there's 12 more games to be played. It's a 12 game season and we won one game and we out on the field tearing down goal poles. And then we lose the next 11 damn games. Brothers and sisters, as I stated then, I say to you now, they're not done. They're not done. And they, per they picked the perfect time. When everything got quiet, all the memes, all the jokes, all the making fun had gone away. And you know what's on the news today, as was yesterday? 
one white young man went into the urban city, in the urban area of Jacksonville, Florida, into a Dollar General store intentionally, and quote unquote, in his manifesto, he had three of them, said that he was going to go kill three niggas because he hate them. So what do you think that man was three weeks ago? Or that he then was three weeks ago? You think how, what do you think he was thinking about when we were making, we were celebrating, you know, chairs and getting chair tattoos and memes with chairs and Ricky Smiley and all these other wicked ass demons, heathen two third demons were doing that. And I said then that they're, they're stroking the fire, they're fanning the flames. But see, when shit hit the fan, I told you, they were going to run to safety. And now you got our people out here, you know, those who are the most vulnerable dealing with, you know, the consequences. And let me make myself clear. I'm not talking about not fighting back. I feel like Malcolm said. When Malcolm says somebody put their hands on you, do your best to send them to the second to the cemetery. Now that's DFG. So I'm gonna be clear here. Somebody put their hands on me. I'm gonna. I am gonna do everything in my power to make sure they don't put their hand on anybody else. And I hope you feel the same way. Now you Christians, I don't know about y'all. Y'all think you're supposed to get stumped into the damn ground. But our book tells us an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. That's what our Torah tells us. That is Exodus 21 and 20. Go look at yesterday's message and you'll hear your brother talking about that. So this is not about some, you know, surrender and, and some, you know, house slave, you know, <laughs> mentality here. Not here. Now, I, I believe in a revolution. I believe in fighting back. I believe in standing up for each other. But I also understand that you got to count the cost for every decision that you make. And you're a damn fool if you go to fight a battle where you can't win. And I'm not a damn fool. And I don't think you are either. Now this devil killed himself. You know why? This is, this is my <laughs> theory on why he killed himself. Because what he's what he proven to this world, because it's all over the news, the whole world is seeing what happened. All on major news stations. Same station that were covering the Montgomery brawl where white men were running from black men. Now those same stations are, are showing a young white man who grabbed his balls. Excuse, ladies, excuse my expression. Grabbed his nuts. And he went out and killed three black innocent Israelites, I believe. And, to, and took his own life to show, hey, I'll die for the cause, will y'all? While y'all go around... You know, making jokes about swinging chairs. I'll die for my pride. I'll die to protect the image of the white man. And one other thing I'm going to add to this. Well, really two things. You know, they haven't, at least, now maybe they did it this evening. But as of this afternoon, 3 o'clock Eastern time, they still haven't told his name. Now, we already know if that had been an Israelite, so-called black, oh, they would have had his name everywhere within hours after the shooting. But I'm going to tell you why they do that. When, when whites do it, typically, this is why they do it. What they're doing, they're giving everybody who, was in consp who, who, were, who were conspiring with him time to go back and get rid of all of their, you know, transactions, all of their, you know, interactions with him. They're letting them get rid of all the evidence and then they're going to put his name out there so that whoever he was attached, whoever was sponsoring him, whoever was involved in it with him, they are long gone. They've erased all of that information. That's why they don't release their names. They're giving those who are conspiring with them time to clean up the evidence. Just thought you might want to know that little bit of information. And then the last thing, but not the least, I guess, as the old saying goes, it's going to happen again. And I said it three weeks ago, and I'm saying it to you now, brothers and sisters. I hope you're prepared. I hope you're ready. I hope you're armed up. Because, again, they don't take loss. They got long memories. See, we, we celebrated with chairs and made means and mockery for a whole week. And then we went on to the next thing. But not them. They were just sitting back in the gap, waiting, 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 waiting till all the noise were quiet, till all the noise, all the party, you know, all the celebrations were done. 
And then they showed up with a gun. Well, two. And then it's not funny anymore. And all the prayer circles in the world and double services with sweet Jesus and your Christian pastors, whomever come ain't going to change a damn thing. So I know somebody said, well, what's the point of the message, DFG? The point of the message, I would have to say, is that you better know your enemies. Because they know you pretty well. And if you don't know the behavior of your enemy, you might not want to be uh, provoking them to attack you. Defend yourself, yeah. To try to embarrass them before the whole world. As though we won the championship versus winning a battle. Not understanding that we're at war then all it does is make your innocent men and women victims, targets. And that's what you saw yesterday in Jacksonville, Florida, which is not that far from Montgomery, I might add. See, one thing about them heathen, they tell them southern boys, y'all go down, it's a southern mess, y'all better get it right. Y'all better send somebody out there who's going to get it done. And we don't surrender. See, that's their mentality. something novel about it let me tell it they'll die for the cause rather than let themselves be embarrassed or, uh, uh, or be humiliated they'll stand up and, and they'll, 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 they'll die for it but what happens so often in our with, with, with the Israelites so called African Americans the only cause we seem to want to die for is you know some some local corner brawl somebody took my man somebody took my woman we'll gladly kill behind that one another I mean but when it comes down to you know putting in the work for your people we don't seem to be real interested in that when it's an enemy who that work got to be put in for or against but I think they just tied the score Mm, nah, I think they just one up us. Be careful, brothers and sisters. They're not done yet. Okay? So the message is, be wise. Be wise. I'm saying, look around. Pay attention to what's going on around you. And the next time you get a win, just go home. DFG, Shalom.